today is day eight of our cruise. All right. Now, if you've been watching every day, I'm hoping things are working out, but it didn't work out that I know of because I'll tell you why. Yesterday, I paid $35 to get the internet for one day so that I could upload everything and make it viewable for you. But the fourth day was so long and it tried all night to upload and I just didn't get enough juice and we ran out of internet this morning. So day four, I'm gonna try it again to get it when I go to the next land place, but it's Tahiti and I hear Tahiti's pretty primitive. So I don't know if it's gonna work then either. So I need to make my videos shorter and then they will do better. So that's the new plan. And today is day eight. So now when I get them all in order, I won't make a mistake, I hope. It's hard to be perfect on a cruise, as you can tell. I'm getting ready to go in the hot tub. And on the TV right here, you can put it on a channel that makes you look at the deck. And right there it is, there's three people in this hot tub. And over on that hot tub, there's only one person. Nobody's in the pool. So I just put my bathing suit on and I'm going to the hot tub or the pool. Now outside looks a little windy and white caps. See the white caps? That means it's windy. Plus I can hear wind coming through the door. We have the noisiest room I have ever been in on my whole cruise career. It just like creaks. It's like something up here is creaking with the, when it's, you know, kind of wavy. And maybe it's people walking above us. It doesn't sound like that though, but it's a creaky, noisy room. No, we don't have ghosts. So I'm not worried about that one bit. All right, so um, I do believe in ghosts, though. Spirits, evil spirits and stuff. So, but we don't have them. Anyway, because we pray and we're protected by our Heavenly Father when you pray. Okay, so if you have any of those problems, just say a little prayer. All right, I decided I will show you what I bought at Walmart yesterday because... Um, that might be interesting. Now, I was surprised because the Walmart, their prices were better than our town. And the uh, very, very fully stocked. So Hawaii's doing good, Honolulu. But they have the biggest population in the Hawaiian Islands is Honolulu. Jamie told me what it was, but I don't remember. But he found a map at, in... Um, it's the cheapest crap map you've ever seen, though, this paper. Like, don't pull it. It's kind of like tissue paper. But it has all of the map that he wanted. Because, you know, he's a geology guy as well as a physics guy and a volcano guy and a, all of the things that he likes. So, um, how much did he pay for the map? It was like uh, seven... I don't know. It was... It, oh, here it is. Seven ninety-six, eight dollars $8 for the map. And like I said, I wanted to get the uh, calendars. Now they have this one, Hawaii Islands, and all of the scenes are gonna be fun. And then they have this one, Aloha State, Hawaiian Islands. I, I haven't compared the pictures. They're probably about, they're about the same, just in different orders. So I got, I don't know how many I got, one, two, they were only 88 cents. Four, five, six. I got six of them. So, Chad, Hillary, Trevor, me, and I have two extras for someone else who I feel sorry for that they didn't get to go and they might need a calendar. And they're easy to pack in my suitcase to take back. Now, they don't give you sacks there. They don't even have a dispenser of sacks. I didn't even see any to buy. Luckily, I had my little collapsible bag that I took. Carolyn and I both knew that. Now, we, our main mission was to go get soda pop. So I did the map here, the math here. I had my calculator, calculator. All right, the pop, one can of pop, if you order it on the ship, costs 
384. $3.84 $3 for one can of pop. Now, um, they have lemonade all day and water. And drinking that lemonade gave me heartburn so bad. And the orange juice in the morning or apple juice. I just can't drink it. It's just like acid to my belly. So I had to get pop. <laughs> and I don't think pop makes you kind of burp, you know. So it would release any bubbles in there. And I was miserable. So I had to buy some Prilosec. No, it wasn't Prilosec. It was OMP. Anyway, that medicine that was 768. I already put it in my drawer. And then I bought some more Rolades too. It's 273. So then the pop, though. I'm going to tell you about the pop. All right, 384 a can. So times 12 was a 12 pack. That would be on the ship $46.08. With two of them, because Jamie and I both had one, $92.16 if we bought and drank 24 cans of pop on the ship. And we're here like 22, that's like one can of pop a day. It would be $96.16. Now you can buy the bubbly package, but it's more than that. Don't worry. All right. So that's a savings of $76.92 if we bought it at Walmart. Now we leg it down. So the pop at Walmart for 12 pack was $7.62 times two, that's $15.24. So minus what we spent on what we would have spent on the ship, it's a savings of $76.92. But wait, we had to pay $20 for the taxi to get to Walmart. So then we still saved $56.92. So, when you get to land, go to Walmart and buy you some pop. Or you could have brought some with you, but we didn't have a store to go to, and then we'd have to drag it with our luggage all the way through it. Oh, it, we aren't that strong. My door is not, this door doesn't shut tight either. And then you get a vacuum. When you open this door, that door opens and a vacuum goes, ooh, ooh. and then you think somebody's here, but the door isn't shut tight. Great. I'm dressed if they come in. I'll just wait. It's so safe on the ship. I went up last night, 11 o'clock at night. I'm wandering around the ship. I recorded the whole Honolulu, if you saw it, night scene. And then I was sitting up there in a room. A mu they were playing music and trying to get the, to download because I got better reception. But it still wasn't enough. But anyway, I didn't feel one bit. I was alone, hardly anybody around. You, I, you know, those movies where people get kidnapped on the ships. And, nobody wanted me. Let's just put it that way. I was perfectly safe. All right. Oops, I needed that. Now, what did I buy? Not very much. Now, I bought... <clears throat> I was really smart. I only have one crochet hook with me, and I thought if I lost it, I would be out of business. So I bought another one. The only problem is, this one is a G. I needed an H. I even had the needle with me, probably. I could have looked it up. But this will still help even if I didn't, if I lose that one. It'll just be little stitches. And then I bought this, same with my needle. I had one needle. And so I bought another pack of needles because I can use them at home too. No much room. And no much room. It doesn't take much room. I'll tell you how much they were. The needles were 224 and the needle 224, 242, I mean, they were cheap. So, and then I got a deck of cards, Hawaii playing cards because we were sitting there and Carolyn and I thought, if we had cards, we could play solitaire or something that we're not much card players, but anyway, she said it and they were only like $1.99 and it's another, somebody gave me another chachi. All right, and then the other thing I got was, it's the silvery gray and it was cheap, only, um, I'll tell you the price. If I feel Neocraft, no. 
$340. So same price as in the States. So I got it because I'm making these now. I'll show you. I, th I already showed you once. I need to shut the door maybe tight. I think our crew guy came in. It's okay. All right, right here. I'll show you what I made if you haven't seen it. The toilet paper dispenser. It's open again. And you take the center out of the toilet paper and pull it from the center. And then you have the little barrel chair with toilet paper for the toilet paper blowers or in the back of your bath tub or bath, you know, on the back of the toilet or something. Okay, so I wanted to make some more of those because they're fast. Make those in a day. I can whip those out. All right, so I'll let you see the ocean for those of you who want to out here. It's noisy, so you probably can't hear me talk. See, look what happened to that door. This one. That one came wide open. Really windy. Really windy. But it's warm. It's not cold, it's warm. Okay, so this will be day eight. Where's my sign? So that my thumbprint will be my nail print, my marker on my video when I will be eight, day eight. Goodbye.